Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In this video we are going to talk about infinite Facebook catalog feed. Initially you must have a Facebook business profile and here you can see I am on my business profile here are the catalogs. These are the catalogs I have created previously. You can also create a new one by clicking on add. Let's move to the application click on get started. You have two options continue with Facebook and continue without Facebook. Uh, we are going with continue with Facebook because it's quite easy and everything is just automated. And if we go with continue without Facebook, you have to manually copy the XML file. Let's get started. So here we will go with the first option opt in to all current and future businesses and click on the continue button. Save it and click on got it so here you can see the business account is attached over here and you can see these are the catalogs I have created previously you can also create a new one click on create catalog here you have to type any name for your catalog so let me type any name for my catalog click on save so it's attached let me connect it like this and click on continue so this is the dashboard here you have to write a name for your feed let me write my feed name here you have to select the market uh, basically this app uh, creates multiple feeds as per Shopify latest update that is Shopify market so you can uh, create multiple feeds with multiple markets each feed uh, sports one market so here you have to select a country language and currency so here is the product id format you can uh, go with global format SKUs and variant this is inventory management you can select track quantity continuing when out of stock uh, you can also select custom value for availability in stock out of stock so i am going with track quantity next you can see source management here I have selected all products then product title description variant uh, submission brand submission these all settings are uh, set up by default I'm going with the default setting so next we have to select our Facebook product category so next we have to uh, select our age group according to your product then gender and then we will select the product condition so these are UTM parameters uh, if you want that uh, tracking in GA4 then you have to set it otherwise keep it as it is and then click on sync now so this is the pricing page you can select the plan according to your requirement there are three different plans uh, so I'm going with the free plan it will give me uh, 100 products so I will go with the free plan this is the premium plan if, if you want uh, VIP dedicated personal support and unlimited products multiple feeds and these all features you can go with the premium one so let me subscribe uh, free plan uploading your products is currently in progress so this process will take some time so uh, let me move to my Facebook business account and check the catalog updated or not. Let me refresh it. So here in commerce manager, here you can see these are the catalogs. So our new catalog is also updated. You can see it along with the catalog ID. Uh, one more thing if you want to set up Facebook Instagram shop you can contact us we will help you with all the stuff uh, let me move back to my application here you can see uh, the feed has been created uh, the total SKUs are 885 these are SKUs not product feed is created you can see it so here in commerce manager let me move to data sources here you can see the files are uploading here these are underway uh, don't get confused that there are two files these are duplicated by uh, Facebook uh, let me refresh the page 
or file has been sent to Facebook. It depends on Facebook how much time it takes for the processing according to the data. You can also create multiple feeds over here. Likewise, you just have to uh, click on create feed. You can see profile. You have to attach Facebook profile, business account and catalog. The setting is same. You can also uh, delete your feed like this. Let me show you the settings section. Here you can see Facebook account business manager, catalog, Shopify market, language, currency, region, everything is attached over here. You can also select the feed. So everything is there. Some of the features are available in paid version. And these settings is related to product description and title and stuff like that. Let me click on view. So here you can uh, see your products select all and click on bulk edit you can uh, edit your product in bulk form and here are the filters you can apply any filter over here and then you can see the customized column you can add columns according to your requirements these are the columns and you can also edit any product separately like you can click on edit and you can make any changes over here in its title and description in condition in everything whatever you want to do so this was all about the product feed now let's move back to the data sources here you can see so here you can see these two files are uploaded let me open the first one uh, it indicates 768 products so let's see 768 products are uh, uploaded and 91 are not uploaded it also shows the reason why these are not uploaded because these products are missing description so click on items you can also go in the item section from here as well like 89 items are here and it has 56 variant it in it contains 70 variants let me open this so you can see it says availability is in stock everything is visible over here let me open any product separately so all the product detail attached over here click on more attributes so all the rest of the information related to your product that you have added in the product feed is displayed over here you can see that so this was all about uh, our application uh, i hope you have got the idea that how can you upload your uh, products to facebook uh, commerce manager by using our app that is infinite facebook catalog feed and i hope you will enjoy the experience do share your feedback don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel thanks for watching have a great day